Welcome to Excel and CAD. My name is Ajay Anand. In this video, I will show you how to unpivot or normalize data in a report form using the pivot table and pivot chart wizard. First of all, why should we normalize data? See this sample sales data in report form. This report will give us an overview of the total monthly sales data and that's it. Because if you want to do further analysis or to create another report from this data, this data is not good for that. I mean sorting or filtering is not easy with data that is in report form. Now here is the normalized form of the same data. The main difference between these two are here the same kind of values are present in a single column. Sales amounts in a column, name of months in another column. So if you want to filter the records for a particular criteria, it will be easy with data that is normalized. For example, to filter the sales amounts that are greater than 750, select a cell in the data set. In the data tab, click on filter. Filter drop down, number filters, greater than or equal to, type in 750, okay. And these are the sales amounts that are greater than 750. Moreover, pivot tables are more friendly to data in normalized form than data in report form. Now let's see how to normalize data using the pivot table and pivot chart wizard. By default, the option for pivot table and pivot chart wizard won't be available in the Excel ribbon or the quick access toolbar. So we have to manually add this option to the quick access toolbar for that. Right click on the quick access toolbar, customize quick access toolbar, all commands, search for pivot table and pivot chart wizard, pivot table and pivot chart wizard, add, ok. And here is the option for pivot table and pivot chart wizard. Step 1 of 3. Where is the data that you want to analyze? Select the radio button for multiple consolidation ranges. Next. How many page fields do you want? I will create the page fields. Next. Where are the worksheet ranges that you want to consolidate? Click on this app arrow. Select the data in report form, add, finish. A pivot table report is created which is equivalent to the selected data. And here is an additional column called grand total. This grand total value is the total of all these values listed in this pivot table report. So when I drill down this value. That is when I double click on this value, a new worksheet will be created which contains all those records that has contributed to that grand total value. And also this is the normalized form of the data in report form. Let me copy this data. We'll paste it here. Alt equal for auto sum. 3764 is the grand total. We'll copy this value. Paste it here. Again, auto sum 37674. We can also unpivot our normalized data using Power Query in Excel. I have done a video on that topic too. For feedback and discussions about this video, please make use of the comment section. And those who are visiting this channel for the first time, subscribe and press the bell icon so that you won't miss any video releases. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.